Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's 2021, so how we're going to celebrate this new year? We're going to pop them bottles, we're going to get lit, get bent, and it's all going to happen right here on the Lifestyles of the Semi-Rich and Semi-Famous with the Champagne Dreams, the Caviar Nightmares, and a little bit of the bubbly. And of course, our host, the connoisseur of liqueur, the POTUS of liqueur, is here with us, Mr. GPS. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, man. Mr. GPS is just having a nice day. He's in outer space. He's having fun. So we're getting right into it, sir, because we have a two-part segment that we're going to do with you. Right now, we're going to do the liquor part. And we need to know, it's 2021. We got through this giant hurdle of a, of a car crash called 2020. How do we celebrate the new year? So what is the drink for 2021 for America and for the world. For 2021, we're standing off with some apple tea. Oh my it's God. Signature rum. Jamaica okay. rum. So, if you heard that. Nice. That means fresh bottle. Indeed. Fresh pour. Oh, well, wait a minute. What? Gee, oh my God. Dude. Okay. Really? Uh oh. Fresh crack on the ginger ale. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. Le Canada Dry, of course, your favorite. Cause I yeah. forgot to get the reeds of the gosling, so here we go. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that bubbling up there. Nice. Okay. I like that. Well, wait Did... a minute. That's not the cheer. That's not the cheer. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, is this a world exclusive here? This should be a world exclusive. Hmm. Jeez, cool. Ah, cool. This is not your typical rum. Mm hmm. Um, now, I had some Bacardi Dark. Uh, I'm sorry. I had some Bacardi Gold yesterday. Okay. This has a little bit more weight than that. Like, there's a little bit more oomph behind it okay. than, like, a Bacardi Gold. Still goes great with, you know, ginger ale, you mm -hmm. know, whatever you want to add to it. Mm -hmm. But um, we're probably doing a lot of work with this in the summer, I can tell. Gotcha. Could you show Could you show your glass again to Mr. Cortez? Because I don't see he saw the pour or anything the first time. Could you show it to him? There it is. Good Lord, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's straight. That's all straight, right? Well, his mixer was the Canada Dry in the Appleton Jamaican rum. Ooh, like three man, one, yeah, like three one on the soda. Three one on the soda. I counted five fingers and half a half a brow for the ginger ale, bro. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, okay. There we go. Let's uh, call a spade a spade. So, however, the piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. This week, okay. This week is our new friend. Oh, Luke Belair Rose. Luke Belair Rose. Shout out to Luke Belair. Okay. All right. A product of France. Now, I came across this. Mm. I was listening to uh, a rapper named Vado. Okay. And in one of his videos, I keep seeing this bottle. So I say, eh, you know what? If for some reason his, his music has just been in my mind all week, like every day I'm at work, I got to play him for some reason. Gotcha. So I said, let me go ahead and see what this is about. Mm -hmm. So I scoop up two bottles. I mean, you know, I don't really do too much champagne, uh, rosé, wine. It's, you know, I, I like the harder liquors and the beers. That's just me. Fair enough. But I figured, hell, well, you know, look, it's New Year's. Let me stretch out a little bit. Hang in there, Cortez. Hang in there. Just because this is what I do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. You're good. You're good. I'm, I'm so uh, we're taking this all off. Okay. Okay. And, uh. Let's see. We're gonna. If we can ever find the. Uh... Oh, there we go. Mm hmm. Now, while you do that, I'm gonna show you what I have here for our toasting. We have to go back. We have to go back. Hey, my friend. hey! Our man Snoop. I picked up a couple bottles of that too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But next week. I am going to do another world exclusive, and this is going to be one of our biggest ones yet. And the reason why is because I want to have The Rock shout us out. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Terramana Tequila excuse me, is on pace for a record-setting first year of sales. So The Rock has the tequila touch. The movie star, producer, businessman's new spirits brand Terramana Tequila is on pace for a record-setting first year of sales, according to Forbes. Terramana is preparing to sell... 300,000 9 liter cases and shipped nearly 400,000 cases in its first year. In comparison, Johnson pointed out on social media, George Clooney, 
Rad Gerber and Mike Meldon sold their Casamigos tequila brand. Remember, we talked about this the last time. He sold it for reportedly close to a billion dollars. Now, this was the Casamigos tequila brand at 175,000 cases a year. Now, The Rock, he's doing over four, hmm. close 300 to 400,000 cases. So it's, be, it's become the biggest launch in the history of the spirits business, of any spirit ever, as quoted by The Rock. So he goes on and says, Our entire Terramana team and myself are quite pleased and humbled that the brand is experiencing this incredible off-the-charts success. But we also recognize there's much work to be done. We're building a mana-fueled legacy brand, and I'm in it for the long term, unquote. So first and foremost, congratulations to The Rock for getting this astounding number of cases shipped. 300 to 400,000 is, uh, it's just outstanding. And, and, and shout out to Terramana, The Rock, and everybody for, for this venture. And like I said, next week, we will be doing our taste test, a world exclusive taste test. Because you know what? We want to get on his Terramana Tuesday Instagram. I ain't going to lie. I want to get on there. I want us to get on there. We, we need to, uh, you know, to promote ourselves. So, so get ready for next week. But GPS, we continue with your uncorking. So, back to Luke Belair, Rosé. Mm -hmm. while, while I pour snake. taking off the cat. Ah, and that wonderful pour. Woo, baby. Uh -oh. That didn't take long. Watch out now. Smell the cork. Smell the cork. Oh, look at that pour. Oh, look at the color. That Cortez. Mm, That's nice, a nice color. Isn't that pretty? Nice little rose hey. color. He's not even measuring it out either. He's no, just he pouring. said this is a <laughs> this is a fucking I'm in 2021 board. We're just pouring, baby. No. <laughs> We just pouring, baby. We just pouring. That's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> you said we're. And we're, here we go. We're, uh, and the taste test, world exclusive. Oh my, oh my! I've never seen this from him. It's almost. It's not. It's not as sweet as like a moscato. Okay. okay. It's um. It's just a nice sparkling wine. Like it's not overly sweet. Okay. It's not overly dry. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you would. Add, I guess you could probably use it in a, in a mimosa if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I, I I'm sorry. I'm going old school. I stick with the martini. Typically, that's dry stuff. Martini Rossi, Asi Spumanti. Typically. Oh uh, well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let me just help you out here. Okay. Uh, okay. Martini Rossi will run you about what? Ten bucks a bottle. Eight dollars. Yeah. This is going to run you 30, okay? Ooh. So, just okay. be careful just, just be careful of the shell the, the the sticker shop mm -hmm. when you get there mm -hmm. because when you get to the counter and that bill just said, "Oh yeah, maybe 20, 30, you know, 10, 20." Dollars. Nah, when that bill mm -hmm. just went from maybe 150 to 2 plus, oh, now you know why. Mm -hmm. okay? So, but what is I guess the question I have, what is your final verdict for this specific wine? Yes. This is probably the best one I've ever had. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, nice. Not that I do many of them, mm -hmm. but I could see my mom liking this. Okay. I could see my girlfriend liking this. Only because oh, 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 what? it's a nice balance of the sweetness. Girlfriend, lady friend, you know. The, the terms are interchangeable at this point. <laughs> right, right, right now, we're... Oh, God. So what you're saying, this would is, this is be a good... Mother's Day type wine. If you want to get mm. get mom a gift, this definitely be... Mother's Day anniversaries. Mm -hmm. um, Valentine's is coming up. That's right. You know, go ahead, grab a bottle. And, you know, it's just nice to have out on the table. It's not that you, not that you have to have, not that you have. This is all you have to have to drink. But mm -hmm. if you just want something nice to toast and say, hey, mm. you know, happy whatever, beautiful this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, great. Now let's see that right bottle there. one more time. Oh, and it's a nice chaser behind this rum boy. Oh, really? Because I'm trying to tell you. Oh, it's good now. Okay, oh, man. so if I could mix with this rum with. Yo, we're gonna put this rum with some sangria, <sighs> and then chase this. Ooh, wow, baby, try to tell you. Oh, holy moly! Ooh. Could you do that for next week? Yes, we can. Absolutely okay. awesome. 